traveled. I traveled Mexico for six months as a solo female traveler and here are 10 things I wish I knew before traveling. So Mexico is such a beautiful country. It's so vibrant in its culture and its history and the people are just the most sweetest and the most kindest really and the food from the culture to the language, the music, it's just such a beautiful place to be. I got to explore and really soak in the culture there for six months. But I did a Spanish school in Mexico, surfing the beach towns, exploring colonial towns, um, living in Mexico City. So definitely had a different experience all over. So I was in Mexico City, Saluita, also um, Guanajuato, uh, San Pancho, Oaxaca, Puerto Escondido, San Jose del Pacifico, and really all these places are so amazing and they all are just so different, you know, so Mexico has a variety to offer and it's so diverse no matter where you go, um, no matter what part you go, so there's so much to see. So the top thing I would say is choose your location wisely. Mexico is very beautiful and there's so many places to explore. Definitely do check the government travel advisory list for places that you should not visit and I would highly respect those and not go in those areas uh, just for your own safety. You know, Mexico is a country where news and media can portray a lot of violence and uh, that it's unsafe. And you know, safety is relative. Nowhere is 100% safe and anything can happen anywhere. That's how I see it. I really feel that as long as you take the safe precautions and you're smart about where you are and where you're traveling, you can enjoy yourself and really travel anywhere. So that's one thing I would recommend is definitely choose the places that you go. Um, wisely and if you do stick to touristy spots it's definitely safe and as long as you're not like walking alone in the middle of the night or like getting drunk by yourself you know just using common sense i feel like you can have a good time and stay safe no matter where you go my tip number two is choose your accommodation wisely make sure that it's in like kind of centered to the area that you want to be not somewhere where it's like in the middle of nowhere then you have to like take multiple taxis or like it's a mission to get into the city like it's just not worth it i usually would recommend choosing a spot where you stay in a very central spot whether it's a hostel an airbnb a hotel i feel like you can just enjoy yourself much more and have easy access to you know restaurants um, local art museum and just like being the center of the place is very the fun part of being in a city or traveling in general like you want to be part of it unless you want a very secluded experience where you're in nature and totally immersed and no one around that's totally understandable as a solo female traveler i usually tend to find accommodations one which are like closer to the surf spot so i don't have to travel that much and i also love being near the ocean and if i was in the city for example mexico city i stayed around the areas of roma norte and La Condesa, which are extremely popular areas and relatively safe. Guanajuato, I stayed in the central area and even Oaxaca City, similar thing. Um, definitely staying in the central part is gives you more access and you can walk around the city, have like more options for food, not have to worry about like traveling so much and you can just do it on foot, which is the amazing part as well. Um, my tip number three is to learn Spanish. like have a good understanding of the basic phrases um just enough to know so you can have an understanding of your surroundings you know i feel like learning spanish is de depending where you are is very like essential like when i was in guanajato um no one would really there are people who speak english but usually the staff members or someone more spanish was required as it's more like a colonial town is not as touristy as like Guanajuato de San Miguel, the Lenda. It was more Guanajuato, Guanajuato. Um, Mexico City, you can definitely find people who speak English. Um, and if you go to like tourist spaces like Cancun or that side, definitely you can. But I just think knowing um, Spanish can be very helpful, especially if you're taking the public transport and just knowing your order and like, oh, like, when does the bus come or like your restaurant order or can I get a coffee, you know? Just these simple phrases of like starting conversation maybe with a local because you are visiting the country. So it's very nice to get to know the locals and, you know, make that effort, understand their language and speak their language is a very beautiful part 
of traveling and especially Mexico has Spanish which is a lovely language. My tip number four is if you're in Mexico for a long period of time I would highly just recommend getting a Mexican SIM card. I went with the company called Telcel and it's all over Mexico in OXO where you can like refill the SIM card. I got my SIM card from the airport. Um, it's relatively cheap around 15 to 20 dollars and it's for like texting, calling and WhatsApp is free. Also data was the main reason I got it just so like I could you know have access to Google Maps or have access to Uber or like any apps that I needed. It's always nice to have data or just like be connected when you are traveling by yourself just in case you do need anything and make sure your phone is unlocked if you do plan on getting a sim card just depending how many days you are i just found it more worth it for me um for six months period of time to have a mexican sim card my fifth tip is definitely share your location and itinerary with your trusted family friends um, just so they know where you are and what you're roughly doing i feel like that's a great way to make sure that you know someone else knows where exactly you are like what you're staying where your travel route is just as a safety measure my sixth tip is when it comes to traveling solo as a female you have to trust your gut and your intuition you know it depends on whether it's um the place that you're staying the food that you're eating you're interacting with if something feels off the slightest thing and you know maybe your environment doesn't look off but you feel it internally i highly recommend that you listen to your inner voice i feel like trusting yourself is really the key of solo traveling as a female tip number seven is definitely something i am working on and guilty of overpacking but i would say definitely pack light you know you don't need a lot of things when you are traveling solo especially and choose your luggage wisely you do not need a suitcase if you plan on backpacking um i would recommend a backpack or like a duffel bag something that's easy and light to carry and the key point is something that you can carry so if you're bringing a suitcase that's you know 50 pounds it's very hard for you to carry unless you're super strong but you know up the stairs you don't know where you could be staying and all on your own um in a city that's fine but sometimes there's like pebbles and rocks and you have to drag your suitcase or you you know when you're traveling you could be up for any adventure so definitely pack light my tip number eight is cash is king in mexico so in the big cities and restaurants definitely like mexico city you can use your card but i always recommend having cash on hand just like if you want to buy street food or if you want to like buy something off the street and it's just so much more easier to just have a direct exchange of cash and the more local you go in terms of beach towns and local places most people do use cash okay, tip number nine is avoid any raw food and if you do eat like fresh fruits and vegetables and you do buy them from the market make sure you disinfect them just for your safety and you know you never know it could be contaminated so i always recommend to avoid that and also when it comes to water do not drink the tap water um do not brush your teeth with the tap water i think it's okay to shower with the tap water but i definitely feel like do not drink the tap water especially in mexico city or anywhere um definitely stick to like bottled natural spring water trust your gut when it comes to street food if it looks clean and hygienic then yeah but if it doesn't you have a strong feeling i would just avoid it when it comes to food always ask the locals where the best spots are because they know and one thing i've noticed is the vendor or the stand with the longest line is usually the best spot to go so just follow the lines and see how popular it is um if it's locals there then it's probably a really good spot <laughs> My last tip, uh, number 10, is to have an open mind and have fun. You know, you're traveling somewhere by yourself. Maybe it could be your first time or you've done this before. It's so important to just go with the open mind and, you know, not let any fear or doubt override your trip and your ability to have fun because it's such a liberating experience to travel alone you know you learn so much you, you really grow a new layer of confidence when you travel alone and you know you're capable of amazing things and you can have fun and explore this world by yourself so i really just feel like never let anything or anyone stop you um from really traveling and traveling alone i think you know 
it's addicting to travel alone i think once you start it's like you want to keep going so much about yourself you get to meet so many people um just because you're more open and you know it's like really it's like a beautiful way to get to know yourself and might as well have fun and enjoy and be spontaneous and be smart yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you get to explore mexico and all that it has to offer eat some yummy tacos and chilaquiles and tayudas and i hope you enjoy and you know really embrace the culture and all the history that it has to offer because it's a beautiful country te amo mexico <laughs> peace